Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. It's Wednesday morning. Is it Wednesday morning? Yeah and oh bless her she's walking very slow. Me and Sue, Sue said she would love to have some of the ramen chicken soup that I cook. So I said, well, we'll go, I'll go and get some. And she said, well, I might be able to come with you. And I said, brilliant, if you want to come. So she's coming. So we're just going to get in the car. Nipped, she's got all her meds and everything in her bag. Um, and everything she needs in case something else happens. And... We're going to go... Do you want that chair moving? We're going to go to the shops and get the ingredients that we need. And um, c come home and make some cosy soup. We did it, but it was um, there was a good few wobbles and a and a, a bit of a a meltdown in Asda where we both cried a lot. Um, the disabled toilets weren't open, so it was you know a bit of an emergency, and she desperately needed to be in a safe place in the toilet, like there, right, right then. And I had to go and find the the key um, for her. I mean, we haven't got one of those because she wasn't able to go out. But I suppose we'll see if we can order one to keep with us. Um, so that was a bit tough. And a couple of unhelpful members of staff in Asda, but a couple of really helpful people. And then on the way out, Sue's found the strength again for us to just nip to Starbucks as she came in with me as well so we got she got a strawberry refresher but she can't eat seeds or anything like that so she got the little strawberry pieces taken out like a strawberry fizzy refresher type drink she absolutely loved it and she was gutted when it finished in the car so she, I wish we had one nearer but that's I mean 20 minute drive away Um, I got a salted maple caramel frappuccino and we bought one of the big pots for Sue's as well because she didn't have one for us to make the soup in so anyway I've got to go in because I've got to put the ice lollies in Susie's gone straight inside to sort herself out um so I need to get in unpack the shopping we're going to do a little bit of tidying up and then we're going to cook some soup fingers crossed but this little trip would have absolutely floored her so I'm, um, you know, she might just get straight into bed and, and pass out because she's not been out for months. So she's done, she's done a lot and she needs to get all cleaned up and changed and everything now because the symptoms that she's experiencing are pretty, pretty impossible to live with. It, you know, it's tough. Right, let's go make some soup. Oh. So we got home and Susie went to change herself and she's had a massive panic because she's bleeding again and it's been a long time since she did that. But um, I'm keeping an eye on her uh, and I just said it's alright, it'll stop, it'll stop and we'll have our chicken soup and it'll all be fine. So, I said it's just the walking, it's just the walking that we've done, that's all it is. And it'll stop. So I've just, just tidied the kitchen while she's, um, 
on the toilet and uh, I'll go back up now and um, just make sure it does stop because it will, it will stop <laughs> and uh, she's just, she's just scared <laughs> Because the last, the last time it did that was when she got rushed in to resource and it all really went wrong. But I will obviously keep you all updated and um, we'll just keep telling ourselves it's just a blip, it's just a blip. It's just from the walking she did yesterday and the walking around the supermarket she did today. And uh, whatever it is, the body will try and repair itself. <sighs> it's, it's horrible just to see her so terrified. I'm going to go back into her now and uh, she says she won't be able to come downstairs and help make the chicken soup which she really wanted to do with me just the little things like that but she just wanted to sit in the kitchen with me and make chicken soup <laughs> get these tears out with you now and then I don't have to do it in front of her this is what what you learn and if any of you are going through it uh, it's not heartless to not cry when you're with someone that's going through that it's better I mean I obviously do but it's better to just to to go it's okay it's okay, we're gonna, we're, it'll stop. We'll clean you up, get you cleaned up, it'll stop, we'll get you into bed snugly. And it can, it calms the situation a little bit instead of losing it with them, which you're obviously doing. Because that's... That's normal. You, you're going to lose it when your your loved one is suffering so much. I'm waiting for that. Oh, okay. Oh my God! There's a tiny little, tiny little wren bird on the on the branch. You see how wildlife and beauty takes the the shock and the pain away. I'm going to try and show you if I can. He's flown onto the porch roof. There's a couple of other tiny little ones in the tree. <laughs> oh, he's off. <laughs> right, oh my god. Stress and ache. <laughs> Right guys, we've been watching My Mum, Your Dad on ITV and crying again. <laughs> it's such a great programme if you want to watch it. But there's some game playing by this horrible um, guy called Martin and he's playing two women off against each other. But the women have said, hang on a minute, uh, no. So yeah, it's brilliant. It's like a dating programme for the older generation and the kids are the relationship experts but the parents don't know that so they're watching from another farmhouse down the road um and I'm, I'm giving the the parents challenges and stuff it's brilliant it's called my mum your dad i mean Susie are loving it but <laughs> we've been crying today anyway and then we're crying again while we're watching that so i've come downstairs and i'm gonna sorry the lighting 
come downstairs and I'm going to cook this chicken soup. I'll take it up to my shoes and I will end the video here thank you so much for your support thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing liking spreading the journey spreading the word saving lives watching how we get through this this whatever this is or not get through it either way um any questions or comments that as always, just pop them down below and we'll see what we can do. Um, but for now, we're just going to try and wind down and hope that nothing else escalates or goes wrong. But of course, I'll let you all know and I'll see you all in the next video. Love you so much. So much. We're just eating our soup in bed. <laughs> and a parcel's come and Susie said, it's me. It's for me. And she said it's a Halloween present. <laughs> so it's come wrapped in all this. We've taken it out of the bubble wrap. It comes in this beautiful little packet with I a little. Know who it's from because you know who it's from because of the sticker. I don't. Can't film me. I do it at the same time. Hang on. Well, I first got some sweets. Thank you for your order with a little card. Oh my god! It is so adorable! It's a vampire bat. Let me take him out of the out of the packaging. One of your friends off Instagram? Charlotte at Rasmussen Resin. Oh, it comes with loads of little stars in the packet. Hang on. This is hard for me to film. Hang on. Oh, my God. We've cried enough today. Oh, he's so precious. Oh, thank you. Why do you do that? Look at his little tiny toes. They're all individual. <laughs> oh, Sue's thanks. We'll have to. I'll link her thing below as well. Let me show you a. Oh my gosh, I've got loads of stickers and stuff. Oh, wait. Let me put you there, little one. We've got loads of little spooky stickers. Mm -hmm. 
to Susie, little thing. Oh, yeah, she's Susie. I think that stands up. It does. Oh, hang on. There's a little note. Oh. Hi, Susie. Thank you so much for your kind words, lovely. I hope you're doing okay and your friend loves their moonlight. Moonlight. Yeah, she's called moonlight. Baby something. Susie might be able to read that for me. Rasmussen resin. Uh, if you can see that, guys. Oh, how cute. And I've got loads of little stickers in here. Sorry, I'm not filming this very well, am I? Oh, look. It's so cute. Mm. Oh, I absolutely love him. I'm going to think of a name. He's called Moonlight. Oh, is he called Moonlight? Yeah. Oh, he's called Moonlight. That's his name then. See you later, guys. <laughs>